Hi students, welcome to second standard English class. We will read the revision and let's do the revision as a number two. The friendly dragon. Dragon is a animal. So here, let us see the story. One day in a forest far away, come on me, you are so small and weak. Me, the baby dragon, looks at his reflection in the water. He is sad. Nobody loves me. I am not strong and big like other dragons. So one day in a forest, far away, there lived some dragons, and one of the dragon, here is a it's about that dragon only. One of the dragon, in his name was Mink. Everyone used to say that that M I N G Mink is so small and weak. That dragon is so small and weak. What listening to this verse, what that dragon did? Dragon went to a stream, a fountain stream. And look at his own reflection. When you see at the mirror, you see your face. Reflection means you see your own face. Similarly, dragon, like many dragons, small dragon, what he did? He went and he saw there in the water. When he saw in the water, he saw his own face, reflection, and his body. And he says that I am so small, I am not strong, I am not too big. He sees his own reflection, own face, and he becomes very sad. And he says that nobody is loving me because I am so small. So nobody loves me. So saying this, what he does, I know I will find a new home where I can live happily alone. There I will be a kind and gentle dragon. So what he thinks, I am very small, nobody is loving me. So he thinks that he will go to another town, another place, and he will live there happily. What he does, and so on. One dark night, me leaves his home to find a new home. So what he does, thinking that he is very small, nobody is loving him. He goes to the another room or another place. At night time, he starts going to the another place. After walking for many days, he finds a new home. What a lovely place! Here I shall be very happy. So after walking for many days, he was searching a new place to stay because all the things that were very small, okay, and nobody loves him. So after many days walking, then he finds a new home. Here. He searches for a new home. And he uh, he found a new home, and he says, "What a lovely place here! I shall be very happy." He says, "This is a very lovely place," and he becomes very happy to stay there. Ming lives happily in his new home for many months. So for many months, like that, twelve months in that way, many months he lived in that new place very happily. There were the fruits were there, the grasses were there, the cool air was there. The green grass and wild fruits are very tasty. He used to eat the wild fruits, the green grass. So beautiful location, and he stayed in that new place alone. Who stayed? Me, the baby dragon. How cool this water is! I can hear the sound of music and bells from the village below. So there was a nice stream was there. He used to drink water from that stream. He used to say that so cool water is here. And when he he go when he used to go near the stream. He can uh, listen to some bells there. The village bell used to ring there. He can hear the sound of the bell from the village. So listening to the sound of the bell, what he does? Me looks at the village down below. People in the village are celebrating a festival. They are having a lovely time. So looking at the village from the street, he looks down. He looks when he looks down, he sees that there is a village down. And their people were doing so, they were enjoying, they were celebrating. Celebrating means some functions were there. They were celebrating festivals. All the people in the village were celebrating festivals, and they were having so nice time, beautiful time, lovely time. Dragon sits from the earth and looks at the village top. How beautiful it all looks! I will go play with the children. So looking at those people, enjoying people, Dragon thinks that I will go and play with the people there and the children who are playing. themselves dragon wanted to go and play with the children mix walk to the village and we have to have so much fun with the children so what the mink does mink slowly from the up from the street he and mink comes down to the village and he started going to, towards the village when he started going to the village he felt very happy and he wanted to play with the children and make fun with them let's see what happens next but as mink enters the village everyone is scared Run, dragon! Oh dear, what is the matter? They cannot be afraid of me. So when, as soon as when the mink dragon enters the village, comes inside the village, looking at the dragon, all the people started running. They 
himself run, run, drive is coming. Then drive on things to himself that why they are running, why they are afraid of me, drive on things to himself. Me is very sad, he sits by a fountain, it is clear pool of water, sitting at some distance is a little boy. So listen, seeing that all people are running, looking after him, looking for the dragon, all are running away, he becomes very sad. Ming becomes very sad and there was a fountain in the village. He sits near the fountain, near the pool, pool water, he sits near the fountain, little, and he starts crying. So when he started crying, one boy comes there from the village. See, boy is not afraid of dragon. He comes near the Dragon and asks, what has everybody run away? I am such a tiny dragon. Everybody got scared of me. And the boy asks, what happened? Why are you crying? Then dragon the says, asks to boy, why all are running up? Because of me, why they are running? I am so small, I am so tiny, means I am so small, why they are running away? Then the boy says that, looking at you, all are really afraid of you. Why they are afraid of you? Because, obviously, when we see some animals coming to a village, 